And I believe that personalized learning is really about the individual within a specific context, their learning needs, their interests, while personalization is more attached to the technological um, aspects of it and how technology can be scaffolded and respond uh, to different learner needs. But maybe you can add on personalized yeah. learning. I'm completely in line with, with your ideas, but I think uh, personalized is focused on uh, the develop of the talent, of the individuality. Mm -hmm. Personalized learning is about uh, focus on uh, integration uh, each, uh, uh, of each student, because uh, sometimes we think uh, personalized le learning as an isolation of the students, but this is not the point. The point is how can we integrate the, the students and uh, to to better understand their skills. Uh, an effective methodology to, in personalized learning is the peer learning. So it's very important uh, to, to all the students be integrated uh, in groups and collaborating by themselves in uh, so many different works as PBL, for example. If you're going to give this choice, if you're going to build this ecosystem, you should assess to reflect, yeah. which is a big change. But you should assess what you're giving them the choice for and what the vision that you actually want to build, which is personalized learning, which forces you to change the way you are assessing. Yeah, so yeah. a lot more formative assessments throughout the learning process that are not just for the teacher, but really fed back, given back to the student. Yeah. How should the student reflect on their thinking? How can they learn better? The rationale of this experimentation is how to improve retention rates in online tra teachers' training. Uh, this is very important. And in this sense, we are studying tethering models and uh, we are where learning analytics tools are de being developed uh, to meet the specific needs of each training. So this is a kind of personalization and, and personalized learning. Um, and this, this experimentation is being developed in the in a very controlled environment to produce sustainability and outputs and results through the development of four MOOCs. One of them is exactly about personalized learning. Because we know that MOOCs and massive open online courses, they demand a lot of self-responsibility on the learner. And TeachUp is trying indeed through its experimental approach to kind of bridge how to integrate the learner, then through the different types of data capture, how to understand that learner, how to respond to that learner, but not just relying on personalized or personalization, which would be the ed tech dimension, but bringing in this participatory voice. And I think it comes in many different forms that you can do as a teacher. So providing choice opportunities for your students. You know what standards and kind of achievements you want them to accomplish, but where can you build in choice? Where can you give students ownership? Then on the other hand, it's also about just understanding who your students are. What do they care about? And then I also think as a, stu as a teacher, it's about role modeling. So developing yourself, developing how you are actually learning in personalized ways gives you a much bigger strategy and toolbox to to approach what you can enable for your students yeah. but maybe you see some yeah i think we should think um not as a closed environment, mm -hmm. not as a closed ecosystem. Uh, personalized learning uh, brings the community to, to, all, to all the learning process. So I think we need to, to better understand uh, what is our context. We need to understand the context of the students and then create a plan to integrate all of these tasks, uh, all of these areas.